Hi guys, today we will look at how to greatly compress the size of an ISO file using WinRAR, split it into several parts, and then unpack these parts of the archive into a single ISO file. And so, we begin. To begin with, we will download and install the WinRAR program. For this open the description of my video. Find the link to the program download page and click on it. Now click, here. And on this page you can choose WinRAR in the language you need, and 32-bit or 64-bit. I choose this version. WinRAR is a shareware program, you can download WinRAR for free and use it for 40 days specified in the license agreement for evaluation purposes. After that, a message and a reminder of the purchase of the program will begin to appear, but this will in no way affect the working functionality of the application. You can fully, still free of charge, use this archiver. Open the folder, Downloads, double-click on the shortcut, and the program began to install. The installation completed successfully, and now I'll show you how WinRAR works. This folder contains the Windows 10 ISO file and the file size is more than 4 GB. To start WinRAR, you need to right-click on the file you want to compress, I click on Windows 10 ISO. If you select, here, then the creation of the archive will immediately begin without selecting parameters. This method is very convenient, for example, if you want to email a folder with different files. There may be photos, videos, audio files and documents, like in this folder. Right-click on the folder, select, here, and the creation of the archive immediately began. The archive is ready, now you can send it to email a friend or save it to a cloud drive as a single file. Agree that it is very convenient. But in addition to creating the archive, we also need to split it into several parts, so it will be easier and more convenient for me to send a large file over the internet, and for this I need to split it into several parts small size. And so, choose, Add to Archive. In this window, you can select various archiving options. Here you can change the name of the archive, Select the archive format, click here, and you can choose the compression level. I choose the maximum level. Now about the size of each part of the file, it will be convenient for me to send each file over the internet in the size of one gigabyte or a little more. Here you can choose a fixed file size. In this window you can set your own size. I choose 1200 megabytes. I press, OK. And the creation of several archives began. WinRAR has completed its work, and now I have four parts of the Windows 10 ISO file archive in the folder. Now we need to unpack these four archives to end up with one ISO file, and this is very easy to do, but first I will remove the original ISO from this folder. If you have downloaded several parts of the WinRAR archive, then you must first place all the parts in one folder. Now you need to click on archive number one. In this window click, Extract, here specify the folder where you want to place the large file. I will specify the folder where all parts of the archive are located. Click OK. And WinRAR started its work again. Here we can see how archive number 1 is unpacked first. Then archive number 2. The third archive. and archive number 4. 
Here we see that WinRAR converted four small parts of the archive into one Windows 10 ISO file and the whole process ended successfully. The four parts of the archive are no longer needed. I delete them and now I can burn the Windows 10 ISO to a USB drive and create a bootable Windows 10 USB drive. This concludes my lesson and I hope that what I told was interesting for you. If you found this helpful, please share my video with anyone. Good luck!